Well, good morning guys. Now we get to get to work. It is 4.45 in the morning. And we just arrived. Get some lights on the situation. How did everything fare on the way up here? I've got a new trailer set up. I had to stop and the trash can came loose, so I had to stop and tighten it, but... So now I'm keeping the blower and the sprayer. Got these guys sideways. Everything looks pretty good. Alright. Well. Today we are going to trim... I guess we could walk over there and look. It's a hard thing about working this time of day. There's no light. We got some kind of critter running around over here. So these guys right here. All along this wall, how many are there? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I don't know, nine or ten. So yeah. Just get after it. Back to the truck, get the tools we need, the hedge trimmer, the light. That should be about it. Probably a couple lights. And for today's job, we are using the Ego. I don't know what it is, 20, 21, 24, I, I don't know. It's that guy, the Ego Hedge Trimmer. Nice and quiet, actually does a good job too. Sun's finally starting to come up. It's still dark out, but listen to those birds. All right, so we'll carry some of this stuff back to the truck and um, start the cleanup process, I guess. 
You know what astonishes me? I'm here between four and five o'clock every Friday, just cutting away at everything. I haven't been stopped one time. And, you know, you figure somebody being in a commercial establishment at this time of day, doing whatever, at least a local sheriff deputy would stop and say, you know, introduce himself to, just make sure I'm not robbing the foot, you know, just whatever. I mean, good, but because I'm not doing nothing, new, but you get it. All right, so I do have an Echo gas powered vacuum that should help in cleaning up. So we'll get that fired up and uh, see how she does. So it's working pretty good. The only problem with this machine is this bag gets heavy and um, you just, you have to dump it. it. You have to just stop and dump the bag. Um, it'd be nice to leave this machine over there by getting the bag hooked back up. To it. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just, it's easier when it's elevated on a surface like this. And uh, well, you saw what we were trimming. So now let's see what it came out to be. See all the shredded goodness we got. This stuff's great for the garden too, but I get way too much of it, so I have no interest in bringing this home. And I'm charging them to go to the dump anyway. Look at that. Just all shredded leaves. We just dropped our shredder. So that's what you that's what you end up with. Just a bunch of little shredded leaves and we're working at this machine pretty hard. Um, usually it shreds them a lot smaller than that, but like I said, we're working it pretty hard. So alright, get back to it. I really like that stuff. I wonder what it is. It's really neat how it creeps along the wall like that. There's some on the other side too, I'll show you. See right there? It's like it creeps right through the cracks. It's kind of neat looking. Anyway, first thing we need to do is we need to run a little rake over the top of these guys just to knock whatever's on top down below. And then... I might try to just go vacuum it up without raking it into piles. I, I mean, I, I'll have the vacuum and the rake over here anyway, so we'll see what we need to do. But this is mandatory to at least get all the stuff that I cut off or knock it down in the bush or, you know, just so it's not sitting dead up top. I'll switch hands. a lot of guys not doing this you should always do this because I mean even if you're not cleaning it up look 
that wilted stuff, this right here, that's going to turn brown. That's going to look stupid. The road is right there. Yeah, have a little pride in your work. Yeah, we might be we might be doing a little bit of rake work here because vacuuming in these rocks that's not going to be good. It's not going to be a fun task at all, I don't think. Raking these rocks isn't going to be a fun task either. So, yeah, we might have to get a little a little creative with this one. See, it's just not going. That's all it takes. Just. Just take this stuff that you just cut and just knock it off the bush. I know it's probably, I don't know how it's gonna look to you guys. It's probably not very easy to see, but. You see how I just hit that wall? That's another reason you should always wash your rake handles. You know, I'm not worried about it here because it's just this whole thing is a concrete building. It's just one big concrete wall. But in some places, you could take a window out. You always carry your tools with the business end in front of you. And always watch behind you where you're swinging. Good to get these do a good job getting these cleaned out because it also gives us an opportunity to let the sun come up a little bit more so we can see when we're vacuuming because after the vacuuming that is your final product and that's the product that you want the customer to be pleased with who cares how, you know who cares what they think about what it looks like right now this is not what it's going to look like tomorrow so bushes are going to uh, they'll look better after a few trimmings this, this is just the first trimming in about, I don't know a year I mean the guy that was working over here he was doing pretty good with some stuff but not good with others and especially towards the end it seemed like he just gave up so by the time I got in here a lot of this stuff had just not been done in a long time which really annoyed me because uh, I gave the bid based on what it looked like when I when I looked at it which wasn't terrible and being a corporate environment it took a long time it took several months for the you know the bid to get through the process and get approved and uh, by the time I actually started work there was a lot more work to do than what I originally saw I mean look at all these bushes I'm trimming all of them and they go all the way around they all the way around the whole building, the whole property. There's got to be 200, 300 um, rosemary, I think they are. I don't think they're lavender, I think they're rosemary. Ten of these, two or three hundred rosemary, a bunch of these decorative grasses. Which personally I think are garbage. I do not like decorative grasses. I just, I don't think they look good. I don't think anything about them is good. All right. Make one more pass down the front and uh, go get the vacuum set up. She looks pretty good. I mean, you guys didn't see much this morning, but yeah, she looks pretty good for, for being an old out of shape girl. Whose idea was it to put this little drainage in here and make the maintenance guy walk across the hill?
See, knock that little feller off there. Think we got a little guy hanging up? Oh no, we don't. That's still attached. Yeah, this guy got pretty bare in the front, but it'll fill in. All right, let's go get the vacuum set up and see what we can see with that. You know what I don't like? I smell gas. Really? Oh. Well, she's coming out of the old WS4200 right there. Why are you leaking? Why are you leaking? Where are you leaking? Oh, you're leaking right out of the carburetor? Really? set up on the ice chest how's that all right let's just take a little gander over here why are you getting an attitude well, yes indeed it's leaking right out of the carburetor into the air filter and all over the place all right can we depressurize the fuel tank it didn't feel like it had any pressure in it to begin with Probably darn near empty now. All right, I'm just gonna leave that off for a few minutes. We gotta finish the job that we came to do. And uh, we can play with that in the next job. We're gonna play with that. I guess I don't need this little fella anymore, do I? Oh. All right. So now we get, this is the Echo ES250. It is a handheld leaf blower that doubles as a vacuum. I love this machine. It has saved my hiney multiple times. The blower tube comes off. Where's my... It's in there somewhere. I think it's around the side here. Yes, indeed it is. Might as well grab this other one while I'm over here. And the vacuum tube goes on. One vacuum tube, the other one. This this was the one that connects to the uh, to the bag. And now we'll attach the one that actually does the uh, the sucking. What is happening here? See poo inside the blade and make sure everything. The blade's pretty dull though. I wonder if you could sharpen these. I don't even know if you're supposed to. We got some Fulinski in there. Probably better add some. Alright, we don't need the lights anymore for the most part. Um, you guys are going to need a battery soon. Oh, I got to get the, uh, the vacuum bag out of the toolbox. Don't want to dump the coffee. The most important thing of the day. You guys watch this. Oh my god, I feel like I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie here. Let me move this guy so I can just hop between. Alright, we can shut off this light. Shut off this light. <laughs> We've got.
got our vacuum bag. I really hope this works because it's really going to make a big difference in how difficult this cleanup is going to go. The problem is, some of those are pretty big pieces, big chunks, um, and I'm not sure this is going to pick them up in, in their, their whole piece, you know. This thing's cold blooded, we'll get it warmed up. Sun's up. Almost done. I'm gonna go around. I probably got an hour left. I'm just spraying for weeds. Might test the irrigation. I don't like the brown spots in that lawn. But let's take a look at the finished product. It's not perfect, but like I said, it'll it'll get better and better. There we go. So I've done all the rosemary from that bush all the way around. Oh, I did those those few sitting over there. I still have all of these to do. So it's a work in progress. It's the first big commercial job that I've ever bid, so I did make some mistakes. But something interesting happened. Um, not not interesting, concerning. So I just, I came around that corner, carrying my bag full of shredded leaves and a truck. I heard a car coming from that way. Came over here, driving right towards my truck. As soon as he saw me, he turned around right there and left. And um, had Idaho plates. It was an, an older, like a 90s Ram, just like mine. But, uh, that bugged me because they don't even open for two and a half hours. What in the world was that guy doing up here? It just, it, it worries me that, you know, here I've got my livelihood sitting right here. And I've got a GoPro sitting right on the tailgate here. And I know I probably shouldn't leave this stuff laying around, but I don't know. Lesson learned, I guess. So I'm going to get to spraying. That's going to be a while. i got to put my respirator on, so I'm not going to be talking, so... We'll catch you on the next one.
guys, so let me turn this down. I got an idea, so we're leaving one job now. We're on our way to another one. I am gonna show you guys. You know, you see all these fellas driving around with their their fancy trucks and trailers full of fancy expensive equipment and everything. You don't need. Is some of it nice? Yes. Does some of it get the job done quicker? Yes. I am gonna take you on a journey now though. I'm gonna show you what you need in the, uh, I mean, if you wanna go mow lawns and make some money, you, you know what? I, hey, guys, you could make some money. I'm not even kidding. Um, I make, well, back up. I don't make. My company revenue is three times my monthly income when I was working in, in corporate America. So I still pay myself about the same amount though. Um, I, I pay myself about like $2,000 a month. Um, and my revenues, I, I mean, it depends on the type of year, between six and 10. Um, the average is about five or 6,000 a month. Um, anyway, sorry, this road, we're going down a, oh, geez. We're going down like a fire road and I got the trailer behind me and so I got to be kind of careful. Anyway guys, you can jump to the chase. We're going to go unload. We're going to unhook the trailer. We're going to unload the truck. We're going to bring ourselves a trimmer and a mower and we're going to go make some money. Here we go. Let's do it. All right guys, we got the Ego mower. You could probably see that back there. We've got the trimmer and we got the Craftsman blower. I did leave a few things in the back of the truck just because I need them tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's one of the rare Saturdays that I'm working. So there's no reason to take them out just to come back 30 minutes from now and put them back. Um, anyhow, so let's get out, let's mow this lawn. Look at this, no trailer. Oh, it's so nice not hauling a trailer around. That mower, that's heavier than I thought though, lifting it into the truck. I don't remember it being that heavy. It's not the first time I've had it in the back of the pickup. But anyway, Let's get off to it and uh, see what kind of fun we can have. All right, we're here. There's our tools of the trade there. We're gonna be using this Ego trimmer here. Lower, lower, let's do it. I think we're gonna mulch everything today too. Test.
It's on just a little cool.
easy. trailer you don't you just need a pickup you don't even need, really need a pickup you could fit this stuff in the back of a hatchback or something but uh you know the nice big stuff my, my time master yeah we uh get a lot done with that machine but um it's not necessary Now what that machine does do is it allows me to get more done quicker so I could take on more work during the day. So, you know, I'm able to get lawns done quicker so I can do like two or three more every day than, than normal. But um, like I said, is it nice? Yes, but not necessary. PC Sean. I'm working this weekend. Um, I don't like it, but I'm I just got lots on the go and I can't afford to take the weekend off. I'm taking Sunday, but not Saturday. I'm working Saturday. said you guys have an amazing weekend we'll see ya